Good morning everyone. I am Marissa, the Filipino wife in America. Today I am back because I'm going to give you tips on how to find a good Filipina. Now, if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. So when I upload new videos, you will be notified. Today I'm going to give you 10 tips for you to follow so that you can really find a good Filipina like me yes well <laughs> I'm just kidding but I'm really good my husband can attest that <laughs> if you are dating a Filipina online if you have just found a Filipina or you have been looking for a Filipina until now these tips are for you I will be giving you 10 tips for you to follow there's no harm in following right I'm giving this for you because I am tired of listening to the word scam I have just seen a TikTok video that said don't date a Filipina because the Filipinas are scammers so it hurts me and the rest of the filipinas out there who are really good innately good we are not pretending to be good but we are really good by heart that forced me to make this video for you out there foreigners out there this is for you number one if you are looking for a filipina to be your wife number one to consider is please spend more time talking online before you meet in person, you should be able to understand each other online, right? On your first day of talking online, you have to cover up something by your smiles and all just to, you know, make each other appealing. But that doesn't end there. There's more to discover. So make sure you spend more time talking every day as much as possible nowadays there, there are so many ways to talk unlike before during our time there was only yahoo messenger on the computer this time you have facebook you have snapchat and all other ways to communicate number two don't spoil her with money don't let her feel that you have a lot of money i'm not putting down Filipinas in here but there were foreigners who were scammed why did it happen it takes two to tango right it's not only the fault of the Filipina but the foreigner as well has some mistakes the Filipina cannot do it without the consent of the foreigner it really hurts me when I hear something like that because I am a Filipina as well some foreigners even if the Filipina doesn't ask money the foreigner is generous enough to send her money even fifty dollars is a lot don't do that if you want to find a good Filipina don't spoil her with money right away so I find this funny because Filipinos usually look at you look at foreigners as, as rich right I had that feeling before I met my husband when we see a foreigner we see them as money or something like that that they are rich but that all changed when I talk to my husband why this is it number three tell her everything if you are working in here tell her that my husband tells me everything he tells me what he does where he lives how he works what is his job and everything if you don't have a lot don't pretend that you have a lot that you are not picking up money in here wherever you are so little by little my perception changed not all foreigners are rich you don't have to impress your Filipina remember that because if you do that you can never find a good Filipina in the end the truth will come out so better tell the truth so that the relationship will really grow better and better and it genuinely in that way if she really loves you she would really be loving you more be honest in other words number four tell your Filipina your hardships in life how you live your life in here because I know when you are living in the Western world not just in America I know how you pay bills now I understand how expensive it is to live in America so tell her that because 
When I was in the Philippines, I never understood it. I never had an idea how to live in America because I was never here. And I know all Filipinas out there do not also know about how you live in the U.S., how you live in the Western world, how you live outside the Philippines, in other words. We don't understand that because Philippine life is a totally different kind of life. Tell her your hardships in life, your pains, Tell her your happiness. If your Filipina understands that, you're good to go. So number five. Don't send her money, even if she asks. Because you don't really know if she is honest or if she is just playing games with you. I'm not putting down you Filipinas out there, but I'm just tired of listening to the thing that Filipinas are scammers. No, we are not scammers. We are good people. So as I've said, it takes two to tango. If you are scammed by a Filipina, you did something too. Why you are scammed. Okay. Filipinas cannot scam you without your participation, without your consent. So let's move on to number six. Let's go to the Filipina now. If you keep on talking online, let her show where she is, what she does. Let her show how she lives. Let her show you those things. Number seven, let her show you where she lives in the Philippines, how she lives in there. Let her show you her family, the surroundings. Let her show the people in the house. Wait for her to introduce you to the family. That is a big help before you decide to visit her in the Philippines. Number eight, to the foreigner, please be observant. Observe how she talks to you online. You can spot that if she is also talking to someone online. She might be talking to you, but she also is talking to another person. Observe how she talks to you. Observe how she responds to your questions, how she responds to your messages. Be observant. That's number eight. Number nine, this is one of the most important tips for you. If you have just met, do not tell your Filipina that you will visit her right away because that gives the notion to your Filipina that you have a lot of money. To avoid the scam that you said, you know what, there's a game that Filipina does. This is it. They talk to a lot of foreigners because they pick and choose or something like that. I talked to some Filipinas who did this. They told me that whoever comes first, he is mine. Whoever visits first, he is mine. That's why I'm giving you the tip. Don't tell her that you would visit her right away. Why? Because you have not established a good foundation yet. What if she's the Filipina who wants to pick and choose? And what if when she sees you in the airport and she doesn't like you, she hides? Because she doesn't love you. And where are you going? You are left with nothing because you don't know where to go in the Philippines. You don't know anybody, you cannot trust anybody. Unfortunately, some people will use you, so sorry to hear that. I don't want you to be scammed. What I'm telling you here now is establish a relationship founded by love. Because whatever happens, your Filipina will never hide. Your Filipina will never scam you because she loves you. Sometimes talking online is different, your looks and everything, and if you happen to talk to a Filipina who talks to five people or more and she wants to pick and choose, there is the problem there. Number 10, the last but not least. Tell your Filipina about how you feel for her. If it needs you to tell her your feelings every day, tell her that. Establish that genuine feeling from your heart that you really want your Filipina to be your future partner to be your future wife if you are dating a Filipina right now if you are still looking for one don't be in a hurry because you want a lasting one you don't want a short-term one if you want a lasting relationship spend more time knowing your Filipina better thank you for watching for those of you who are dating a Filipina right now and for those who are also looking for a Filipina right now, please leave your comments down below. If there are other tips which you can also add to the 10 tips I gave, please leave them on the comments down below. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. 
and hit that like button if you like this video and hit the notification bell so when i upload new videos you will be notified thank you see you on my next video